This video will show you the Unreal Engine 3 integration of Beast running on 12 workstations here in the office. So we'll start out just baking direct light. So you can see that the shadows are very black. But Ernst is running on those 12 workstations continuously baking light maps. So we got the GI results instantly when I switched on GI. So you can see with just a single light we still have a pretty interesting lighting. So we can add uh, an environment to make things even more interesting. It's very fast to swap light probes, play around with different kinds of environment. So artistic changes like daytime and nighttime changes, you can instantly see the results of those changes. So Ernst also lets you interactively tweak things like light, light map resolution, so you can fix problems directly instead of waiting for a nightly build. So you can go over and tweak problem areas like the roof on this house having too low resolution. Just increase the resolution and see the results instantly in a few seconds. It gives you very creative tools to go over your level and both light it and tweak it for optimal runtime performance. So you can see here, this cloth has far too high resolution light map, so we can just reduce that one and save memory too. So having Ernst inside of the game engine lets you have the best of both worlds, like in this case we have a real-time sunlight so we have real-time shadows and baked in our light maps. So we have really crisp shadows and but very high quality global illumination baked as well. So having it inside of the game you get all of the benefits of all of the post-processing and real-time effects as well. You get instant feedback of subtle effects like color bleeding that might be hard to get right because they can be very subtle but having this kind of interactive workflow lets you really see the results and tweak them towards what you want to achieve. And you always have full artistic control to boost in dark lighting as well. So this is very zoomed out, but Ernst has no problem baking that either. It doesn't matter if you're up close or if you see the entire scene. Ernst is very much optimized for heavy game content. So we're adding a sky again here to make things more interesting. So it's very creative and rewarding to just play around and try to light your scene in interesting ways when you don't have to wait for nightly builds. So we're going over the scene again, increasing light map resolution on this road part. In this last example we have disabled GI again and you can see that the shadows are very black. So when we enable GI shadows become much more interesting with a lot of detail in them. So we will add a sky as well. And we have a pretty fast lighting setup going with just a single sun and a sky. So you can see in the shadows, that's, there's a lot of detail and action going on, even though the lighting setup is very simple. And in this case, the sun is a real-time light, so the shadows are very crisp, but all of the bouncing from the sun goes into the light maps baked by Ernst. So we will do the reverse now and uh, disable the sky. 
so things are getting darker but there's still detail in the shadows but when we disable GI as well shadows become completely black